Hello everyone, welcome to Code Chef. In today's video, we are going to discuss the question sign moves, which appeared in Code Chef Starters 31. So, if we see the problem statement, the problem statement goes as initially the chef is at coordinate 0 on x axis. For each i is equal to 1 to n in order, chef does the following. If chef is at non negative coordinate, at a non negative coordinate, he moves i steps backwards, otherwise he moves i steps forward. Okay, you are given integer n, you need to find the final position of the chef on x axis. So, you will be given the n, n is the number of operations or number of times the chef did the operation, which operation this, the given operation. And we need to find the final standing of the chef. Okay, so let us understand this question with an example. And in the example only, you will understand the approach of this question. Okay, so let us see this example. So, t is equal to 3 and there are 3 test cases, 1, 2 and 3. So, let us see for n is equal to 1. So, where will be the chef standing initially? So, the chef, chef will be standing initially at 0 as it is given in the question. Okay, so this is the a little chef. Now, for i is equal to 1, is this position a non-negative number? Yes, this is a non-negative number. So, what he will be doing? He will be going i steps backwards. So, he will jump one step backward and reach minus 1. So, the answer of this will be, test case will be minus 1, the final standing. Let us see for next test case, for n is equal to 2. Initially, the step will be standing at 0. Okay. So, 0 is a non-negative number. Okay. So, we have three types of numbers. One negative, one number which uh, the 0 which is not negative nor positive and positive number. As in the question, it is given that non-negative coordinate. Non-negative coordinate means the number should not be negative. It can be a neutral number that is 0 or can be a positive number. Okay. So, this is given in the question. This is meant by non-negative number. So, he is standing at 0 a non-negative number, so he will move backwards as uh, as in the test case 1 he did. So, he will come back to minus 1. Now, he is standing at a negative number. So, because he is standing at a negative number, he will move i steps forward. But now, i is equal to 2 because he is doing the same operation second time. So, second time he will move 2 steps forward. So, he will jump 1 and 2 and reach 1. So, the final standing over here will be 1. Let us see for the third test case that is equal to n is equal to 3, n is equal to 3. So, in this case, test case, he will be doing the same operation three times. So, initially he will be standing at 0, he will jump one step backward because this is a non-negative number. Now, he is standing at a negative number, he will, he will jump i steps forward. So, he will come back to 1 because i was equal to 2 the second time he did the operation. Now, he will do the same operation the third time. So, the third time, he is standing initially at a positive number. So, he will jump i steps backwards according to the question. So, he will jump i steps backward that is 3 steps backwards. So, he will be reaching minus 2. I hope you understand. Okay. So, the final standing will be minus 2. So, our answers are minus 1, 1 and minus 2 and that is the answer in the question also. So, how did we come to the approach or what is the approach of this question okay so let us understand the approach for a bigger number okay so for n is equal to 5 i will be writing the positions of positions of chef on x axis so he is currently at 0 currently at 0 so i will be writing here the position x axis position okay position so, he is initially at 0. Because he is at non-negative number, he will jump back. So, he will jump back minus 1. Jump back minus 1. Now, he is at a negative number. So, he will jump forward. How many steps? I steps. So, plus 2 steps forward. 1 and 2. He will reach 1. Now, what? Now, he is standing at a positive number. So, for i is equal to 3. He is standing at a positive number, so he will jump backwards 3 steps. So, that can be written as minus 3. Now, he will be standing at minus 2. Okay. 
so for i is equal to 4 he is initially standing at a negative number so he will be moving forward how many steps i steps so he will be moving four steps forward and then he will be reaching where minus 2 uh, and this is will be 2 okay so now he he is standing at 2 for i is equal to 5 okay so for i is equal to 5 initially he is at a positive number so he will jump backwards how many steps i steps so he will be jumping back i steps that is minus 5 so if we did the sum of this if we did the sum of this that is equal to minus 3 so this will be our answer this will be our answer so if we closely observe this so we can conclude it at as 0 plus 2 plus 4 minus 1 plus 3 plus 5 can you see this we have just taken all the positive numbers aside and then uh, uh, sorry uh, even number aside and the, all the odd number aside okay so we can see that the number n consisted of all the sum of all the positive numbers sorry even numbers minus sum of all the odd numbers in that number in that n n range Hana. so for 1 to 5 1 2 3 4 5 the odd number appeared with a negative sign and a positive number appeared with a positive sign sorry all the even number appeared with a positive sign so this was the solution for, for it the approach for it this was the approach that we will add all the even numbers with positive sign and subtract all the odd numbers with a negative sign and on adding all these we will get the x-axis how we will get the x-axis because we did we did this from this only we concluded this that after doing the sum of these numbers we will be able to get the final positions okay so if we go to the solution if we go to the solution c this is the t test case c in t t minus minus so the number of test cases the times of test cases it will run this the whole code okay so we have taken the number n as input whatever the n will be given like uh, this n is equal to 1 okay and we have taken the input now we need to find the even number we need to find the even number so how we will find the even number the total number divided by 2 like if if we had n is equal to 5 so 5 divided by 2 the positive division uh, sorry integer division that will, will be equal to that will be equal to 2 okay 2 because 0 is not considered now 0 will be is considered or not considered the both are same so the two numbers will be 2 and 4 so just we need to find the sum of n or uh, n even numbers n positive even numbers okay so the sum of n positive even numbers the formula for sum sum is n into n plus 1 let me write it over here the sum of even now even sum formula is n into n plus 1 where what is n n is the number of even numbers okay and for odd sum odd sum it is n square where n is the number of odd numbers okay so what we will do we will find all the even numbers in that range we'll find all the odd numbers how we'll find the odd numbers total number minus even numbers okay we'll find the odd numbers and we'll find the respective sum we will find the respective sum and we know that the even number comes with a positive sign and the odd numbers with comes with a negative sign what we have written over here see even numbers with a positive sign odd numbers with a negative sign and just we will subtract both of them and the answer will be carrying the carrying the x coordinate for our shift okay so i hope you understood the question and the solution let us submit this code Let us submit and it's a correct answer. Thank you.